Hey you guys, so I am back with another video and this one is going to be like an update video because I told you guys I would update you guys on what has been going on with me lately. So that's what I will be doing. Um, excuse my more chilled, laid back look. It is a, more of a vlog style. <laughs> and honestly you guys, for the next couple of weeks, I will be doing more vlogging than actual like beauty filming um and i guess hair is the reason why so just let me know if you guys are more open to the vlog videos after i kind of give you guys my explanation and my reasoning behind it if you guys are open to it just kind of let me know but um i told you guys back last year i was gonna have my wedding in hawaii because i always wanted to have a destination wedding but for reasons that plan has changed um so basically i have been planning my wedding in like three months and it's now going to be in atlanta and i'm not going to go into reasons of why but it's no longer in hawaii but we will still have our honeymoon in hawaii so because it's now in atlanta we did not want to change the date because we don't want to keep pushing back you know us getting the chance to be husband and wife because of whatever that's you know the reasons of why it happened so we kept the date the same um we just pushed it up one day because of the venue we selected october 3rd wasn't open so it's now october 2nd so i've been planning a wedding in three months and if you guys are married or if you guys are engaged you know that typically a wedding takes about a year and a half to pretty much plan out so I've been doing it in three months and it's been so stressful, you guys. And But you know what? It's stressful, but I think me having great friends and great family members, they truly have like pitched in to like help us plan this wedding. And it kind of shows you like truly how much, you know, like you're loved or I should say I'm loved. And I appreciate them so much for kind of like helping me plan this in three months because if it wasn't for them, it would not have been possible. So that's why for me filming beauty videos, you know, it's been kind of like slacking, like real hardcore slacking because, you know, I'm super stressed out, I'm super tired and I do have a new job and I'm not going to tell you guys where I work, but I am still in retail and the company that I'm working with right now, we are opening up a new store in October. So I have this wedding in October. I have my new store opening in October and if you guys work in retail and if you guys have opened up a store, you know it takes a lot from a training perspective. It takes a lot from just hiring. So between those two it's been kind of crazy so that's why all my energy and time have been with the wedding and of course my job because my job pays the bills <laughs> so that's why it's been kind of um a little bit dead on my channel and also i don't know what is wrong with my lighting because if you guys see my mac haul and my ulta haul my last two videos i was so not happy with those videos at all because the lighting was so horrible and i don't know if it's my ring light or my actual camera but i wasn't going to upload those videos because i don't want to upload videos i don't like but at the same time i was like saida you haven't filmed or uploaded in so long just just put it out there and hope that they understand but moving forward i'm not gonna upload any content that i'm not you know happy with so those two videos i'm not happy about but i just wanted to get something up for you guys um otherwise you guys would have been sitting there you know even longer without a video to watch but um so moving on I did get a vlogging camera because I feel like so much is going on that I'd rather vlog for you guys because it's more laid back, it's more easier, it's more chill, there's no like prep work and I, and I see why people are vlogging more than actually filming videos because it's just so much more relaxed and I feel like you guys can get a peek into my actual life because I kind of feel like you guys don't really know me. and. You know, I just think it will be easier on me to just vlog what's going on. And I think, you know, also for me, if I vlog the process, it, I think it will be good for me to kind of have um, something to kind of look back and say, you know, I remember when I got married or I remember when I went to pick out these items. So I think also for me, it was another reason why I wanted to vlog was because this is a, this is a really important part of or time of my life and I really want to have it to remember so I think it was more so for me and more so for you guys is why I went ahead and bought you know my camera to vlog um just so you guys can see 
I guess what's going on behind the scenes. Um, so last weekend, I went back to Atlanta because I had my bridal shower and I had my bachelorette party. And then my nephew, his first birthday was on Sunday. So it was like a full filled weekend packed with activities and you guys it was so 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 much fun um my bridal party did awesome with just planning my bridal shower it was at my mom's house and i don't really have that many pictures i had to ask my friend for some pictures and she didn't really have that many either because it was it was really living in the moment because it was so so much fun everything was like pretty much diy and those, those little details were just really really awesome so I really enjoyed myself and um, for the bachelorette party we went to a club called compound in Atlanta so that was really cool and I wore an outfit from hot Miami styles and you guys when I say that outfit was snatched it was my first time ordering from them and I heard about them because if you guys follow Amrezy, and I'm pretty sure you guys follow her on Instagram, but she always have on their outfits. So I figured, you know, let me see like what outfits they have because her outfits, always, you know, always looks really cute. So I went on their website and I found the cutest outfit and I am so in love with it. I'm going to insert a picture of the outfit right here on the side. But you guys, Hot Miami Styles, if you haven't checked them out, I'll leave the link below, but their outfits are to die for and the outfit was so cute it was so comfortable and i think it only cost like 88 dollars but it is well worth it so i will leave the link for them below but um so yes we did that and then my nephew his birthday was on sunday so i do have pictures of that i will have like some clips of everything within this vlog um and then I came back to Ohio so I will be going back to Atlanta within the next week because it's the wedding <laughs> So I'll be in Atlanta for a full week so of course I will bring you guys along so you guys can see what's happening behind the scenes and again if you guys are open to that just let me know and also I need you guys help because I'm trying to figure out what the hell to do with my hair because you guys know I colored my hair this blonde color and now the issue I'm having is because I'm wearing a sewing the day of the wedding and clearly I'm not gonna color the sewing the color of my hair so my only option is to wear a closure and I'm not a fan of closures because they don't look natural and I'm not knocking anyone who wears them because I mean hell I wore closure before when I had my curly hair sewing and I really liked it but the only issue is after a while when your hair starts to grow the closure starts to push back so to me it just looks so unnatural and I don't want to pay all this money because I typically wear my sew-ins for three months so I don't want to pay all this money to have the shit push back and then it got to come out early like that irritates me on so many levels because you're paying to get it done and you're paying for the hair so um that's the issue I have with the closure and then my friend told me to just color my hair like a dark um a darker like brown color so I am thinking about doing that but I'm kind of scared because I don't want my hair to you know get even more damage from me coloring it twice so leave me some suggestions below because I think right now I'm leaning towards the closure but I don't know you guys because I do not want to wear a closure because I feel like with this store opening coming up I'd rather just have my someone in for three months versus having to deal with my hair itself um but anyways as far as the hair is concerned I'm leaning towards my Toya right hair the Eurasian style you guys know I had it before I did a review on her hair below and I loved it and then my other option is the 10 minute sewing because you know I heard that it's really easy to install and I know that I can easily take it off and put it back on whenever I want to and I know um if you guys watch Missy Lynn she did a video on the 10 minute sewing and she added clips to hers so that way she didn't have to get it sewn in at all so I thought that was really cool for those days and I'm like you know what I want to be snatched I could just throw on my weave push in the clips and keep it moving <laughs> so those are my two hair options but I don't know you guys just let me know your thoughts below but if you guys want me to um, vlog or continue vlogging these next couple of weeks, let me know. I'll be more than happy to do so. I think it'll be easier on me and that way it will 
ensure that you guys have something to watch and I know typically people always say to have a schedule to upload videos but you guys I work in retail and our schedules are unpredictable if you guys work in retail you understand I cannot sit here and say I can have a video Monday Wednesday Friday or Tuesday Thursday Sunday it's not gonna happen I, I just upload when I can um that's just the world that I live in in retail um but yes, let me know if you guys want me to continue vlogging. And if you guys want me to like record my wedding day or have clips of my wedding day recorded, let me know. I'll be more than happy to film our wedding day for you guys if you guys even care to watch it. But yeah, you guys, hope you guys understand what's been going on lately. And please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.